Hi, I'm Jeff with AtlasPhones.com. Today I'll be showing you how to install an Avaya B179 SIP conference phone for the IP office. Things you need to start. Avaya B179 SIP conference phone. Avaya IP office version 7.0 or higher. Computer with Avaya IP office manager software. If not using a PoE hub, then you will need a separate power supply for the B179. If you would like an expansion microphone for the B179, you can use the Avaya B100. You should have your system all set up. Your B179, IP office, and computer should all be hooked up to your hub so that they all can communicate with one another. To begin, open the Avaya IP office manager software on your computer. Log in with your regular credentials. First, we'll make sure that you have a valid IP endpoint license installed by clicking on Licenses on the left and just checking that it says Valid here. Next, we'll create a new extension. On the left side of the page, you'll click Extensions and then right-click and go to New, then choose SIP Extension. Under this tab, we'll create an extension for the unit for this example, we'll use 289 next to Base Extension, and then click OK. Under the VoIP tab to the right, you'll click Reserve Avaya Endpoint License on the right side, and just check that box. This is how it will look on Avaya IP Office Manager version 8.1, but if you have version 9.0, this option won't be on the right side. For version 9.0, you'll see a drop-down menu in the middle of the page, and you'll choose Reserve Avaya Endpoint License there. Fill in the IP address for the unit. This can be a static or DHCP. If it's DHCP, you can retrieve it from the B179 unit. To find your IP address on the B179, click the feature key. Scroll down using the arrows until you highlight status. Press OK. Scroll down again to highlight the network. Here you will find your IP address for the DHCP. Now that we have the IP address from the B179, we'll enter it into IP Office Manager. For ours, we'll use 192.168.42. 166 and then we'll click OK. Next we're going to the left side of the page and we're going to click on user, right click and choose new. On this tab we'll enter some different things. Under the name for the unit we'll enter a name. For ours we're using B179. You can skip password and confirm password and enter a full name. For ours, we'll use conference phone. Under extension, use the base extension that you created. Ours is 289. And then you can leave everything else alone on that. Next, go to, to the telephony tab that's in the middle. You'll go to the tab Supervisor Settings below that. And then under Login Code, enter your extension again. Again, ours is 289. And you can click OK. Then you'll go to the top, to the little floppy disk icon, and click Save. Here you will be prompted to do an immediate reboot. You can click OK and enter your regular login information here. You'll wait and your system will reboot. Next you will go online and type in the IP address of your B179 into the address bar. In this case we're using the default HTTP colon backslash backslash 192 dot one six eight dot four two dot one six six. This will connect to the Avaya B179. Under profile, you'll choose admin and then you'll enter the default pin one two three four and click login. Under settings, 
go to the SIP tab, you'll go to main account at the top of the page. Under enable account, click yes. Under account name, create a name for your unit. We'll name ours B179. Under user, enter the extension that you chose. Again, ours is 289. Under registrar, enter the IP address of the LAN port of IP office. Ours is 192.168.42.1. Then under authentication name, you'll type the extension again. Again, ours is 289. And under password, enter that extension again. Ours is 289. You can leave everything else on the page the way that it is. Scroll down and click Save. On the B179, you should see Registering. It will show Registered and return to the main screen once it is finished. It is best to test the unit with a phone call. We will dial our extension and hit OK. As you can hear, the phone is working and set up properly. Please click like below if this video has helped you and subscribe to our channel for more informational videos on Business Telecom. If you are in need of a new phone and or phone system, visit us at www.atlasphones.com or call us at 888-567-5194. Don't forget to follow atlasphones.com on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google Plus for great offers and updates. Thank you for watching.